Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got warm reviews of the 10 new catalog scents for fall and winter. So Sensi every catalog season releases 10 new scents for the catalog. And this year I got full bars early. Um, consultants can get them a little bit early. For everybody else, these will be available on September 1st. The other thing we have going on this month that can get you these bars early, if you're not currently a consultant, is that we do have a join promotion this month. So you get the join kit and then with the join kit, they're sending you all 10 of the new release bars in the full size um, if you join in the month of August. So that's kind of fun and a fun way to get a really, really nice value add to your join kit if you're planning on joining. So if you are joining this month, you will receive the 10 full size bars as long as you're joining with like the regular join kit. Um, the other thing to keep in mind also, if you've been a consultant in the past and you're not eligible for this promotion, is that reinstatement kits are free. So anytime you want, you can come back to Sensi, even if you've been gone for 10, 15 years, or if you just were, have been gone for like a year or so. Whenever you want, you can always come back for free. You do have the option of purchasing a reinstatement kit if you want to, but if you don't want to and you just want to join for free again, you can totally do that. So that's if you've been a consultant in the past. If you haven't been, then you get the 10 extra bars this month as well. And reinstatement at this time of year feels like such a like good time to do it because you kind of already know the ropes. And so you're heading right head first into busy season and it's just a good time to, to get going back on it. So at the price of free, what do you have to lose? It's just kind of a fun time to do it. But yes, if that's not your thing and you just want to order these as a customer, September 1st, these are all available. So let's hop into warm reviews. I did a cold sniff review of these a while back, a couple weeks ago. If you want to see my, what my cold thoughts were, um, as always, things do change on warm and this was no exception. Some of them were exactly what I expected and some of them did shift a little bit. So we'll kind of go through these and then at the end, I'll tell you what my favorites and least favorites were. Overall, I was very impressed with this lot and I kind of thought I would be. So overall, happy times. I am going to go through the catalog descriptions in the order that they're listed here in the catalog. <clears throat> my catalog happy mail has gone out. So if you are receiving happy mail from me and you're one of my customers, check this page here, page eight. This page here will have scented stickers for you to scratch and sniff. Um, okay, we are gonna hop in. Alpine Escape. So the first one they have listed is Alpine Escape in the woods category. This is kind of your sage green type bar. This is feel a rush of minty air among spruce and evergreen trees on a scenic mountain getaway. So minty air, spruce and evergreen. On warm, what I did here was one cube in my daughter's bathroom, one cube in the laundry room. I knew this was going to be my least favorite of the bunch and it did end up being that. It's not a bad bar. It is a minty pine tree type scent. If you like those kinds of bars, this is going to be exactly your thing. This was about a medium strength, lasted about 24 to 36 hours. Not bad, pretty respectable performance. Um, kind of got eucalyptus tones on warm as well. This one didn't change much on warm. This one is very much what you smell is what you get pretty much all the way through the warm. Um, yeah, it was all right. It wouldn't be a repurchase for me just because of my scent preferences. But if you like pine tree scents, especially with that kind of cool, almost minty edge, if you liked things like Mighty Pine a couple years ago, if you like Eucalyptus Wreath, these are gonna be ones that I think would make you like this one. So Alpine Escape, there's that one. Again, this is probably my least favorite of the bunch. However, I think it has a place for the right person. And performance was respectable. So there's that one. Um, just for like reference, when I say average performance, average for Sensi with me is about 24 hours in my open layout and about a, like a medium strength. So this was, I would say a little better than average, probably average strength, a little better than average longevity for Alpine Escape. The next one we have here is Balsam Spice. This one is Captivating Cinnamon, adds sweet spice to charred cedar and balsam. It's in the woods category and it's kind of a bright green color. This one is very much like winter or holiday time. Yeah, it, it's, it's a pine tree scent with some warmth. It's very nice. On cold, I got a good balance of the cinnamon and the tree. On warm, initially, it was more tree and less cinnamon, but that balance definitely shifted over time. And this one went for days. I wanna say like a good three days. And then finally, I was like, it's starting to fade finally. So I switched it out, but it could have gone longer. Like it went for ages. I did two cubes in my office space, which does tend to hold onto wax fairly well, to be fair, um, but it did very well. So two cubes in there. And what happened over time was we went from like, I would say 80% tree to 20% cinnamon. 
and then that balance shifted over time and we had more cinnamon and less tree and I actually preferred it from like day two on because I feel like the balance was better then. The first day was more tree and very much like very snowy spruce to my nose which is not bad it's just again as a pine tree scent I'm a, not a pine tree scent person um, but the cinnamon stuff I did really like. So the charred cedar and the cinnamon is kind of what came out more towards that middle and end of the warm but the um, balsam was kind of the primary note initially. So I would say the top note is probably the balsam and then you kind of get that charred cedar and the spice to kind of carry it through for longer. Overall, I would say this was probably a seven or eight out of 10 in strength. It was very strong and much better long lasting than average. Really, really good performance here. I would say this is definitely open layout worthy, even for your largest open layouts. Um, I would say very long and strong, long lasting approved. Um, yeah, it was a good one. Is it one I would get more of? Maybe. Like this kind of bar would last me a long time because I don't warm this kind of bar very often myself, but I think it's very well done, like really well done. And this one screams like Christmas and like the holidays and winter to me. Um, I think for like putting your Christmas tree up, this would be a great bar. It's got that warm coziness with the charred cedar and the spice. And it also has that really nice Christmas tree scent. So I think balsam spice is gonna be a hit this season. I think people are gonna love this because most people really do love a good Christmas tree scent. And I think this is a great one. I prefer this to very snowy spruce. I prefer this to most of the pine tree scents we've had. Um, it's got a nice little bit of spice to it. It's very, very lovely. So balsam spice gets a thumbs up from me despite the fact that I'm not a tree scent person and performance on that was outstanding. Next up here, we have brown butter pumpkin. Super cute label art. It was a orange wax. It's in the spice category. It's whip of a batch of seasonal spice mixing melted butter and brown sugar with pumpkin for a tempting treat. So melted butter, brown sugar, and pumpkin. This one on warm, loved. Like love, loved. And on, or sorry, on cold, on cold, I love, loved it. And on warm, I did too. However, there was a however here. As much as I loved this scent, it was a very classic pumpkin spice scent, which is exactly what it was on cold. The bakery did come out more on warm with that brown sugar and butter. That came out more warm. It was fabulous. I loved it. The however here was the strength. Now we have a bar called Pumpkin Roll in the catalog and in the Gordy Goodness collection. The Gordy Goodness collection, by the way, is back ordered. You can order it, but it won't ship till September. You can still add the bars to your club. Um, anyways, brown butter pumpkin. This one is like Pumpkin Roll in that Pumpkin Roll tends to need some time to sit and age to get good performance out of it. And this is the same way, I think. Again, I haven't warmed this age because it's too new to warm aged, but this one I think was just too fresh of a pour to perform it the way I would have liked it to. And I can't see a pour date on here. Yeah, um, it's lovely, but it was, I would say a four to 10 in strength in my open layout with the full bar. So a little less than average and that was at peak. And then after about like four to six hours, I couldn't smell it at all. And that's odd considering that there is spice here and stuff. There are notes in here that should carry this longer than four hours. So I think this bar just needs age. I suspect this is a very fresh pour. And I think giving it a few months to sit or even a year to sit is gonna be where this one shines. And I will have to grab a few bars of this and age some and then try some for next year too and see. Um, very, very nice scent. I just did get the, didn't get the performance I had hoped for this round. So again, I think it's a really fresh pour and the bars that are shipping in September might've you know, sat for a couple months and be a little bit stronger already. Sometimes these early access kits have just been poured and so they're like really fresh. So by the time they launch publicly, they've usually sat a bit longer and they're kind of you know, coming into their own a little bit better by then. So Brown Butter Pumpkin is definitely a repurchase for me. It will probably be a club bar for me as well if I can get it to perform. I think I will be able to. I think it's an age matter. Um, but performance was not awesome. It was not very strong and very not long lasting. The other thing that may take into account here is the fact that my windows were open for much of the day. Um, we had a day where it was nice and not too hot and we had the windows open. Um, so that may have played a role. The other thing is that I had my slow cooker going and I was making chicken and dumplings, which was very aromatic and delightful and smelled amazing, but it may have covered up the brown butter pumpkin. So I think I will try this again on a day when the windows are closed. I'm not slow cooking any food and this one has a better chance to shine. I would say it definitely needs to be babied, at least at this point. That may not be the case once it's aged a while. So brown butter pumpkin, love it, love the scent. 
I just need it to perform better, so I need to play with this more. So I would still recommend it, but I would try it for initially in smaller spaces than your open layout. I would say a kitchen, if you have like a separate kitchen, um, a living area, a study, that sort of thing is where I would try brown butter pumpkin until we get those more aged bars. So that one was good, but I need to work with it. The next one here is cherry chestnut. It's a burgundy wax. This is in the bakery category and it's warm black cherry topped with roasted chestnuts and whipped vanilla is a sweet and savory delight. So black cherry, roasted chestnuts and whipped vanilla. Now the funny thing with this one is that I got a lot of that black cherry when I first got this bar. But now that this bar has sat, even for just a few weeks, I don't smell the cherry anymore. The cherry's gone, <laughs> like even on cold. And when I first got this bar in my giveaway kit, it was only like, what, two, three weeks ago? I smelled the cherry then. And now I don't smell cherry on cold or warm. I can't find it. I'm getting almond extract. I'm getting some chestnut. It's a very like vanilla, like vanilla based nutty type scent. And it's lovely, but it's not cherry. Where's the cherry? Um, it was crazy. So I put four cubes in my bedroom, two in each warmer, because I did sense that this was kind of a lighter type scent. I think this will age very nicely too, but I did, I did sense that this one might just need a little bit more wax. So I did four cubes in my bedroom. It was very nice. It was a nice solid medium, performed very nicely. And it went for, it was two days, like 36 hours at least closer to probably 48. Like it was a good two days. This was beautiful. I really like this. This will definitely be a repurchase for me and I would definitely recommend it. I would say smaller spaces. I don't think this is going to be open layout worthy for most homes. It might be in my house once it's aged, but I think for larger open layouts or like, you know, double floors or high ceilings, anything like that, I would keep away from cherry chestnut. Um, I think this is going to thrive in your smaller spaces. This one on warm reminded me a lot of Amaretto and a lot of Simply Vanilla. I got like 80% Simply Vanilla from this on warm and just like a little bit of that almond extract Amaretto cookie type scent. It was really, really lovely. And I typically don't care for almond extract scents and I didn't really get chestnut here so much. I got like almond extract, which is still a nuttiness and it was still very nice. And it was very well balanced by that vanilla but the cherry was essentially non-existent on warm and I can't smell it on cold anymore either, which is very odd because I could smell it before. So I don't know where the cherry went, but I have a friend who said the same thing. Um, she got cherry initially and then now can't find the cherry in this bar. It's very much gone vanilla, like vanilla nuttiness. Um, really nice. I liked it. I will repurchase it and I will enjoy warming that most of the year round probably in bedrooms. So the whipped vanilla, I think is the primary note here. You're getting mostly vanilla. It's not a frosting or cloying vanilla. It's a very soft, pretty, like vanilla, like Simply Vanilla, or like vanilla cream. If you remember vanilla cream, that was also very similar to Simply Vanilla. Uh, vanilla cream or Simply Vanilla, it's very much like that. So really nice. Um, I couldn't find the cherry on warm or cold, and that roasted chestnut note to my nose came across more like almond. Um, again, strength, a good solid average. Longevity, better than average. So overall, a pretty good performer. The next one we have here was gingerbread pecan waffles. This is in the bakery category. It's savor all day breakfast with warm and fluffy gingerbread waffles topped with molasses and roasted pecans. So we have gingerbread, molasses, and roasted pecans. So on warm, this one was very much like, I got more pancake than waffle. And the reason I say that is because I didn't get the crunch of like a waffle in this scent, I got like a soft cakiness from like a gingerbread pancake. It wasn't overly spicy at all. There's not a whole lot of spice here. I would say there's like table syrup, like maple flavored table syrup without being actual maple syrup, which I kind of like for like a pancake syrup. There was that kind of pancake syrup, a definite pecan nuttiness. There's definitely that toasty pecan note and it is specifically pecan. Um, you're not going to get a whole lot of gingerbread spice here though. It is like molasses gingerbread. You can tell it's gingerbread, but it's not very spicy, like almost no spice. So you're getting this like maple pancake syrup, the pecans, and this like cakey fluffy gingerbread waffle, or I think pancake, but they say waffle. Um, really, really nice. Strength on this one was a good seven or eight out of 10 in my open layout. It did very well. And I think age is going to make this even better. Um, longevity was not the best. 
that is one thing I found with gingerbread scents on the whole is they don't tend to last very long. So this one's strength was very impressive, but it only lasted maybe like eight to 10 hours. So not terribly long. And I did the full bar in my open layout. So it was a good day, but it was on the shorter side. It's not gonna go like your full 24. So overall, still a repurchase, still a club at the end of the season type bar for me. And if you're a bakery fan, this is gonna be a must try. Um, but longevity was not the best. Um, strength was pretty good though. So that offset that. Next up we have Hay Rides. This is in the fresh category. This one is climb aboard with fresh hay and cedar wood and take a ride through crisp apple orchards on this in this ode to a joyful autumn tradition. So fresh hay, cedar wood, and apple. And yes, this one reminded me a lot, like I said, on cold and warm, of Golden Garland and Autumn Road Trip. This is like taking Golden Garland, taking out the pine tree and adding in the apple note from Apple or from Autumn Road Trip. That makes hay rides, basically. This was very, very nice. I love this. This is a bar I would definitely purchase again. It's not a bar I would warm more than like once, maybe twice a year, but I really enjoyed it. And the performance on this was great. This one was probably again a, at least a seven out of 10. Like it was pretty good, um, better than average. Longevity was about average. I would say middle of the road. It was nice and strong for about 16 to 18 hours. And I took it out at the 24 hour mark and you could still kind of smell it. So about average performance all around. Um, at least average strength, maybe a bit better, and then average longevity. Yeah, it was really pleasant. What you really get on warm is the apple. You don't really get a hay note. Like when I think of hay, I think of like that fresh sweet grass type note. And I didn't really get that, I can't say. What I got was like a warm, like a warm vegetal note that I think was probably meant to be the hay, but I think they use that same warm vegetal note to be marigold in Golden Garland. I think it's the same note and they've just called it different things. Um, so that's my take on hay rides. Cedarwood, I didn't get specifically, like cedarwood can be quite sharp and I didn't really get the sharpness here. This was a very fallish, like classic fall type bar, very traditional fall, lots of apple here, that kind of warm vegetal note, kind of leafy almost, just really, really nice. Hay rides would be a repurchase, and I think if you like those very traditional fall scents, you're gonna like that. The probably standout of the entire collection for me, Leaves and Lavender. This is in the spice category. It's this pretty kind of taupe color. Soothing lavender and a hint of clove wrapped in fall leaves invite you to relax. So lavender, clove, and fall leaves. Now this one, I did four cubes in my open layout and my bedroom, so, or my bathroom, sorry. So one cube in the bathroom ensuite, one in one warmer, two in the other warmer in my bedroom. So in the whole bedroom area, we did a total of four cubes, including the bathroom. So this one was amazing. So I love this one on cold too. And it was very much what you smell is what you get, but it got even better on warm. And it went through a couple stages that were all really beautiful. Oh my gosh, this one's so nice. This is like very much like the Bath and Body Works leaves candle. And it has like the crunchy leaf note with that bit of spice. It has like a sweet herbal lavender tea type note. I get tea here. Like I am smelling tea a thousand percent, especially on warm the second day. Um, day one was very strong. I would say eight or nine out of 10 in strength in my bedroom, like very strong. Um, it went for a full two days, like 48 hours, no problems there. Um, the second day was more of this beautiful, like gently spiced lavender herbal tea. It was beautiful. I loved it. I loved it so much. The first day was much more of the crunchy fall leaf note, but still tempered and balanced by this lavender base and this little bit of like crunchy clove. Like the, the clove here is not clove. It is like crunchy leaf clove rather than like dental clove. This is so, so lovely. Like, I don't know what else they've got in here besides that, but I smell tea is what I'm getting here. It's beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. If you pick up any bar from this collection, grab Leaves and Lavender. Like this one is phenomenal. The only people I think would not like this or if you don't like Bath and Body Works leaves, probably not for you. Um, I think even if you don't care for lavender normally, I think you're gonna be okay with this one. This is fantastic, like just fantastic. So Leaves and Lavender, performance, super strong super long lasting, 
and also like the highest scent appeal of the bunch I think. So leaves and lavender like seven thumbs up. So good. <clears throat> the next one here is pistachio woods. Now this one is in the woods category. This is delicate pistachio and buttery almond on a bed of cedar wood. So pistachio, almond, cedar wood. So this was kind of like a mint green color and I did the full bar in my open layout. So this one I did not like at all on cold, like at all. It smelled musty to me, just musty and not a fan. On warm it was better but the mustiness never fully went away and I think I've come to the conclusion that the musty thing I'm getting is the cedar wood. For some reason the way the cedar wood is playing with the sweet nutty notes here is just reading musty to me. Um, it was much better on warm like I said. You get the butteriness here for sure. I am getting the almond and I'm definitely getting that buttery pistachio. Um, but the way the cedar wood plays here is just a little bit dusty almost. Like it's just not jiving for me. So I did like it better on warm. My husband liked it um, and he did not care for this at all on cold at all. Um, so he did like it on warm and I thought it was much better on warm to the point where I actually did enjoy it. And it did go for two days. It could have just done one, but the second day you could still smell it. I think it was more like a 36 hour situation though than a um, 48, so like more like 36 hours. So two days, but not full two days. Um, yeah, it was pleasant. It was pleasant. Will I ever purchase pistachio woods? Uh, the strength on this, I would say, it's one of those scents that doesn't... I think you could warm this in bedrooms really nicely. I think I wouldn't try this in an open layout bigger than my own because I think this one could get lost in a very large space. It is fairly soft and floaty and I think if it was in a very large open layout or in a very high ceilinged area it would not do well. In my open layout it did fine. It was about a medium and I wouldn't have wanted it stronger. I would say it was about a solid four to five out of ten in strength so it was fine. I could smell it. You could smell it when you walked in. You could smell it when you're walking around but it wasn't overpowering. It was kind of like just there. Longevity, better than average. So very, very nice longevity. Strength was about average, maybe slightly less. Um, scent appeal for me is just not 100%. It was okay. I may repurchase a bar in the future, but it's not one that I would melt very often. Um, and not one I think I would crave, if that makes sense. Like it, it doesn't seem like a scent that I'd be like, oh, I really want a warm pistachio woods. For me, it's not gonna be that scent. I think if you really, really love almond scents, this one might be one of those for you. It might be a craveable scent. Um, I think if you also like... There's a certain like almost perfuminess about this. I think it's the cedar wood. And it's not perfumey like a thing you would wear. But there's just something that smells a little bit upscale about this. If you like those kind of upscale home fragrances, I think pistachio woods might be worth trying for you. Um, and again, it's not a bad one. It's not that it's not that I won't ever warm it again, but it's not one that I would like have in my stash at all times for sure. So pistachio woods, it's nice, it's pleasant. It's a middle of the road bar for me. Next up here, we have the biggest cold to warm switch for in opinion for me, vanilla amber. This one is bakery category. Rich vanilla cream and golden amber infused with sweet rum are a piece of bake pastry perfection. So this one I loved on cold, like one of my very favorite bars on cold. So vanilla cream, golden amber, and sweet rum. On cold you get like a lot of that like vanilla buttercream and this amber type scent. It's a little powdery. I'm not really getting rum specifically but there's something, there's something here. There's something pungent here. I think it's the rum. Um, it's really really lovely. On cold I like this a lot. On warm Something happened with this one. So I did one cube in my ensuite bathroom, one cube in the warmer by my bed, and then two cubes in the other warmer in my bedroom. So three cubes in the bedroom, one in the ensuite, so four in that general area. Um, strength, eight out of 10, like crazy strong. Longevity, we didn't get that far in the bedroom because I had to take it out. Bathroom, I left it going in my ensuite bathroom. That went for three days. So that one went for a very long time and it did great. Um, in the bedroom, what I found was this one went from being a very nice balance, like in the cold sniffs, this is a very good balance of vanilla, vanilla bakery frosting type note to that powdery amber type note. On warm, this went all baby powder all the time. Like it went hard baby powder, like straight up, like Pampers diapers. 
it smelled exactly like new fresh diapers to me like I haven't had a baby in a few years um but when I had a baby in diapers still it smelled like when you crack open a fresh pack of pampers and you're putting them away it was pampers like straight up pampers and that was what my entire bedroom smelled like it was just this cloying sweet powdery scent and I could I I could not could not did not like that at all so I took it out of the bedrooms couldn't do it but I kept it in the bathroom just because I didn't really care um and then the bathroom what I found was I went in there the next morning and I was like what is this this is really nice so I think this type of scent works better in a bathroom because it's like that kind of baby powder type scent the weird thing with this one in a bathroom is that it does have that heavy vanilla base however by day two so like I guess it would have been it would have only been like 12 hours into the warm so not even that long into the warm that it balanced itself out so if I could have hung in there it might have gotten better in the bedroom too but I couldn't um by 12 hours in the vanilla had gone from cakey frosting to beautiful perfumey vanilla and it was mixing really nicely with the powderiness here it was this feminine delicate really pretty scent then and in the bathroom I loved it it went for three days like I said loved it it was lovely you'd walk in there and be like oh that's nice what is this and it was this so that was just such an odd experience with this scent where I loved it on cold and then I hated it on warm but then I came back around to really liking it in a smaller space in small doses in a space where I'm not going to spend a lot of time um, and I think that for me was the key with this one if it's in the bathroom I love it you get a few whiffs of it and you're out of that room already um, with the bedroom that's a space where you're going to be for hours and hours in the evening and I couldn't do it so that is vanilla amber for me I think if you tend to like things like newborn nursery this is going to be a love for you as long as you also like vanilla um I think if you like like kind of perfumey vanilla type scents the other thing this reminded me of a little bit on warm is the perfume from it was a perfume I had like in the early 2000s late 90s and it came in like a white bottle with like a black lid and it was called exclamation and it had this like very perfumey vanilla base to it and this one reminded me a lot of that it smelled a lot like exclamation perfume from like the 90s 2000s um yeah it was nice I don't know that I need more of this um I don't think I could handle more of this but I will use this the rest of this in my bathrooms and probably quite enjoy it so there is vanilla amber performance longevity outstanding outstanding longevity and outstanding strength too so performance again fantastic and that is one thing I will say we had a couple years there where people were really saying Scentsy's wax performance wasn't awesome and there was a couple years where there were quite a few light bars I haven't found too many light bars in here pistachio woods again it's kind of a floatier lighter type scent but it's not like light cherry chestnut is another floaty type scent but again not light and the rest are all really solid performers we have one left to talk about and then I have some overall thoughts on this collection and what I think Scentsy is trying to do a little bit so this last one is white peach and cranberry and this one on cold was kind of a middle of the road scent I thought it was okay but not outstanding it's in the fruity category and it's a juicy bite of fresh picked white peach and a tart touch of cranberry so white peach and cranberry what it says it's a peachy colored wax I did a full bar in my open layout I love this on on warm again it went from like kind of a eh, it's okay type scent for me on cold to I really love this on warm so yeah this was lovely this was perfect for this time of year this is a great August bar so if you like a good peach scent this was a beautiful peach scent it had just a little bit of berry to it but it was mostly this very sweet verging on not not quite creamy there's nothing vanilla-y here this was a fruity very smooth lovely peach there was no sharpness no perfuminess this was just a very well balanced peach scent I loved it yeah this one was a very good performer too I would say solid medium like strong medium maybe like a six out of ten so better than average performance longevity average I would say 12 to 14 hours so like one day but like one full day morning to night um did quite nicely so that one I liked it I let it go for 24 hours because you could still smell it kind of near the warmers even late at night and I wasn't going to change my wax late at night anyways so it went for 24 but you could smell it for a little less than that but white peach and cranberry really lovely definitely were purchased for me I would warm this possibly I thought possibly for New Year's but I'm not sure I would warm this for New Year's it doesn't have the bitterness that I like in like a New Year's scent 
Cranberry usually has some bitterness to it and I didn't really get much bitterness here and I like bitterness for like a New Year's Eve scent. Um, some tartness and some like effervescence, this doesn't have those. This is a sweet, lovely summer peach scent with just a hint of berry, but it's like a cranberry. But not much, it's just this really pretty peach. Just like the best peach you can think of, it's just perfect. So white peach and cranberry was a resounding success, really liked that one and I will definitely repurchase that. Now, as a collection overall, I think these are really good. I love these new scents. I love what they're doing. I like the color palette, even with, with the mint greens and the, um, like these colors are very on trend this year for fall. We're seeing a lot of these like kind of peachy orange coral tones and these like lighter sage and mint type tones um, in like home decor stuff. So I see what they've done there with like kind of trying to match that, which I like. The other thing I noticed with a few of these scents is there's a few of these scents where when I was warming them, I was like, is this, is this vendor wax? because there are several of these scents that remind me a lot of Vendor Wax, both in these 10 new releases and a, one or two of them in the Harvest collection as well. And I'll do a video on that separately. But I think, I think Sensi is noticing that people are kind of moving to Vendor Wax sometimes. So I think they're trying to do some of those very popular Vendor scents that are not, they're not duplicating them by any means, but I think they're kind of taking inspiration a little bit from some of the kinds of scents that vendors are doing well. And so I'm not mad about it. I feel like pistachio woods is one of those. You have those soft, nutty, creamy tones um, mixed with the woods. I think that's very much vendor inspired. Um, leaves and lavender. This one just smells upscale to me. I don't think this is like a vendor reminiscent scent. This is just very upscale and lovely. Hey Rise is just classic scentsy. Like this is scentsy through and through. I don't think that's vendor inspired. Gingerbread pecan waffles could be. That one could be. It could also be like Bath and Body Works inspired. Uh, cherry chestnut I think could be vendor inspired. That one's very lovely and again that kind of floaty quality to it with the mix of like depth and like the it's just it's a cozy type scent these are both like cozy but floaty scents and i think that is vendor inspired um and then the other ones are classic scentsy i don't think those are anything but scentsy scentsy <laughs> so yeah alpine escape very classic scentsy balsam spice very classic scentsy uh, brown butter pumpkin, very classic scentsy. These are very traditional type scents and I love it. So I think for like our traditional lovers, we have a few here. I think these five here are going to be like classic, classic fall scents. Gingerbread pecan waffles. Again, this is like fall winter, but classic home fragrance, scentsy style, Yankee style, that kind of thing. Hay ride, same thing. Classic fall in a bar. Brown butter pumpkin is another classic fall in a bar type scent. Balsam Spice, classic holiday, classic winter. And Alpine Escape, again, classic hol or classic winter, probably more winter than holiday, but you could do this for holiday. And then the other ones are a little bit different, a little bit more wild card. So they've got a nice mix here of traditional and kind of modern. So the more modern bars, I would say, are your pistachio woods. Like I said, kind of maybe vendor inspired, possibly. Same with cherry chestnut, very modern possibly vendor inspired, very floaty, very creamy, very like nice. Leaves and lavender, very modern, amazingly beautiful, like stunningly beautiful and a great performer. But again, a new spin on like a leaf scent. White peach and cranberry, very uncommon for something like fall. Um, but again, very well done, very nice. Vanilla amber, not personally for me, but again, very modern, very like different for fall but still cozy. So I kind of get where they were coming from with that. So again, we had five kind of modern new agey type takes on fall. And then we had five very classic fall winter type bars as well. So I like what they did. Um, I don't know that I would change anything except for possibly if I had to change the lineup a little bit, I would maybe get rid of Alpine Escape because we do have Balsam Spice as a Christmas tree scent. And I would replace it with a berry scent of some sort some kind of berry, a fall berry, a holiday berry, I'm not sure, but some kind of berry. I feel like we're lacking berry in this particular new release lineup. So if I had to make a change, I would get rid of one of the Christmas tree bars. And personally, I would change out Alpine Escape because I think Balsam and Spice is better. Um, that's just me. And I would put a berry scent in. That would be my change. But other than that, I think they did a fantastic job. Really liked it. So that is my warm thoughts on the new releases. And I would love to hear your thoughts on the new releases in the comments below. So if you're a consultant or you've gotten these early, let us know in the comments what your favorites are, what your not favorites are, and what you think of these. How did they do in your house? Because everyone's house is different and I do have a smaller home. So 
a lot of things do well in my home. If you're not a consultant, I would love to hear which of these bars you're most excited to order on September 1st, because these are gonna be available then, and I would love to know which ones you're really chomping at the bit to get your hands on. Hope you guys are having a great week. I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.